In this video, I'll show you how you can use BotPress to segment and organize your leads. The first step here is to decide which categories we want to use to segment our leads. Let's say I have a product that requires different sales approaches depending on the specific industry of that lead. All of these leads are interacting with the chatbot on my website, but when it comes time to hand off that conversation to the relevant sales exec, I want to make sure that it lands in the correct bucket every time. I also want to make sure that I have clear records of all of these leads segmented by the industry they work in. So for example, let's say in this example, I want to segment across four different industries. The first step is to create a table based on each of those industries. So I'll create one table, which I will name marketing. I'll create another table for finance. I'll create a third table for tech and I'll create one final table for all other industries. Cool. Now I'll need to decide what information we collect from these segmented leads. For the purposes of this example, I'll keep this simple, but you can collect whatever information is relevant to your business. So in each of these four tables, I'm going to create two columns. I'll name one name because I want to collect the lead's name and I'll collect also their email address, and so I'll name this field email. And I'll make sure to do this for each of the tables I have here. Now, I want to make sure that I'm asking my user for this information. So at any point in the conversation, I'll place a standard node, which I'll call capture info. Then in this node, based on the information I want to capture, I'll place a few capture cards. For their name, I'll use a raw input card, and for their email, I'll use an email address card. In the raw input card, I'll just ask my user, what is your name? And I'll store that answer in a variable called username. I'll do the same for their email, and I'll ask them, what is your email? And I'll store that answer in a variable called user email. Now, remember, I also want to know what industry they work in. And so to do this, I'll use a single choice card. I'll place it at the end of my node, and what's going to happen is our user will be prompted with a list of choices, and I want them to choose one. So here, I'll ask them, what industry do you work in? And I'll supply them with a list of pre-selected choices. So I'll use one for marketing, I'll use one for tech, one for finance, and one for other. Now what I want to happen is whenever my user selects an option, they get sent down the corresponding conversational path. I've now created nodes for each of those conversational paths. So let's say my user selects marketing as the field they work in. What I want to happen next is I want my bot to automatically create a line item or a record in the corresponding table. So in the marketing node, I'll place an insert record card from the card tray what this does is tells our bot, when the user reaches this point in the conversation, create a new line item in this table. I'll tell it which table by selecting marketing table in the field option, and I'm now being prompted to enter values for the name and email columns. Since we're storing each of these pieces of information in a variable, I'll just use the workflow.username and workflow.email variables in which those answers from my user are being saved. So now what's going to happen is whenever a user reaches this point in the conversation, their information will be filtered by the industry they work in. I've gone ahead and done that for each of my corresponding nodes. Now, what's going to happen is I'll end up with four separate tables that segments all of the leads by the industry they work in. Let's also make sure that we wrap up the conversation in a satisfying way for the current bot user. So what I'll do here is I'll place a simple send message card and since I have a dedicated account executive for leads that work in marketing, I'll send users that end up down this conversational path with that person's information. So I'll say something like, you can reach out to our sales team at, and then input their information here. Now, the great thing about BotPress is you can include different sales members or different information based on which conversational path your user has selected. 
In this way, you can make sure that the right lead is talking to the right account executive at the right time. Now that this simple demo is completed, why don't we give it a shot in the emulator? If I say hi, I'm prompted for my name, so I'll input a demo name. I'm prompted for my email, so I'll say, this is my email address. And now I'm asked for the industry I work in, let's say marketing. So I'll place this here. I'm prompted to reach out to our sales team, and now the conversation ends. To verify that this worked, let's head over to our marketing table where I should see the information I put in just a few moments ago. And there it is right in our table. Very cool. Happy bot building.